with my click. Don't try to change it now. See you gotta bounce. One, two seconds ago, said you just got in the house. It's hard to believe that you are at home by yourself. When I just heard the voice, heard the voice of someone else. Just this question, why do you feel you gotta lie? Getting caught up in your game, but you cannot say my Thank name. you so much to Deakin University for sponsoring today's vlog. Like I dish, like I that. Do you want the bit put it to touch? Slow and fast. Just give it to me, give it to me, watch. Uh, me never on board. That would be come up with a good Uh, put it to a Surely this is focused on me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you. I can't even stop smiling and I haven't even greeted you guys. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you like the content that I sell on this channel. And of course, I hope that you stay. If you're a returning subscriber, one who watches my videos on a regular, thank you so much for coming back today. I hope that you liked today's video. And of course, I hope that you brought a friend. Guys, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you guys so much for joining me as I create a digital diary of my life. Guys, this is a very, very exciting vlog. Obviously, you guys can tell that we're in a different background, so this has to be something serious. This is the start of a new vlog, and of course, before we get into it, we have to thank our sponsor. Thank you so much to Deakin University for sponsoring today's vlog. The university that I go to is sponsoring my vlog. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? I feel like this is probably one of the biggest brands, if I can call it that, that I've actually worked with. Hey guys, there's literally people that are walking right in front of me right now and they can see me. But I'm just trying not to focus on them because then it's going to be really, really awkward if I start looking. So at least they're not coming in here. So me just touching my ears because I'm shy and there's people that can see me. At least they can see the camera so like they know that I'm talking to a camera. But yeah, she smiled. That's nice. As I was saying, Deakin University is sponsoring today's vlog. Today is actually our open day for the university, for the Geelong One Ponds, for actually the Geelong campuses. Deakin has four campuses. There's one in Melbourne, Burwood. There's two in Geelong, the One Ponds one, which I'm at, and then there's the Waterfront one, which is about 15 minutes away. And then there's one in Wanabu, which I've actually been to. when we went there for the STEM ambassador program. So anyways, today's open day is for the Geelong campuses, so like the two campuses in Geelong. And obviously I'm at the One Ponds one, so I'm basically just going to be taking you guys through all of that, and we're gonna see what it's all about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I never actually attended the open day for Deacon. So yeah, I feel like I should change this angle. What if I put you guys like here? But anyways guys, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. So right now we're going to head down to the actual campus, like the actual school. And I'm basically just going to be taking videos of everything. What they're doing is showing Deacon facilities. So like the different buildings for the different courses that you can take. And you guys know that I'm studying engineering. If you're new here, I'm studying mechanical engineering. So I'm always in the engineering building. But then I feel like today I'm actually going to go on one of the tours. Maybe like the medicine, the medicine buildings. I would want that. I actually want to see what that looks like. We're also going to go. We're going to go to the engineering building. I'm definitely going to film a bit of that. So basically, guys, I'm just going to be taking you guys with me. I just thought that I'd actually start the vlog so that, like, everything makes sense. I said that I didn't like this angle, but I actually liked it more than the last one. Yeah. Anyways, it is currently 11.54. My goal was to be there by 12. But yeah, guys, let's go see what Deacon is doing for open day. I'm actually quite excited just to see what it's going to be like. Yeah, let's go explore, guys. I cannot believe that I'm doing a Deacon sponsored video. That's crazy. That's actually so crazy.
Hey, Harvey. I'm the, I'm the sizzle lift expert today. Wait, I gotta look my mouth. Another straight <laughs> Love it. <laughs> We've seen the science building and the engineering building and I'm thinking of going to the library or going to building DD. Those are the last two buildings that we're going to go to. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys so that like it's not just music, 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 music. This is really cool because I've actually never seen this many people at Deacon on a Monday. Like this is absolutely, like I've never seen this. I'm actually bumping into some of my lectures, especially here in the engineering building. And I'm just out here holding my camera, it's so funny. But it is so day. I absolutely love this guy. I just wanna post something on my Instagram story right now, so we'll catch up just now. I don't really let go when I say so. I keep giving people blank stares. I'm so different when you're not there. It's like something out of Shakespeare. Because I'm really not here when you're not there. I've tried to fight. I'm This is a few days after open day. It's still the same week. The open day was honestly so... It was so different and so interesting because like, I think I did express the fact that I'd never seen so many people on campus. People being hands-on, people wanting to know more about Deacon, people wanting to know more about the facilities that are offered at Deacon. It was just so interesting to watch all of that. Honestly, I actually enjoyed myself. And also, when I went to the engineering building, I actually met some of my classmates, some of my friends. And it was so cool because I'm just like, I know these guys, literally, like, we learn in the same classroom. <laughs> yeah, this is now a few days after and I just thought that I would just check in with you guys and just keep the vlog going for a little bit longer because I figured that if it was just open day then you guys wouldn't really see like my student experience. But right now I'm back at Riz. I have class at 1 today and now it's 11.13. I don't know if I'm tired or if I'm lazy. There's a fine line between being tired and being lazy especially when it comes to schoolwork. And I know that like sometimes during the semester this type of energy just hits me and like so frustrating because I'm like I actually need to study. I have things that are due. I need to get up with my work. Just the motivation for me to actually sit at my desk and actually do my work is just not there. So today I'm for myself yeah, I'm putting myself in a position where I actually have to study and that means going to the library I'm gonna do my laundry right then we're gonna go for class class finishes at 3 then I'm going to go straight to the library I'm not going to come back here just so that I can actually do something you know like I need to get myself back into the mood guys only thing that I'm finding comfort in right now is the fact that I know that I've been through this feeling before but then I always forget how to actually get through it if that makes sense so frustrating Maybe until like six or seven, maybe six. 
maybe seven actually and then i will go back to my room and finish off my day so basically right now i'm just gonna be studying i'm gonna be on my zoom I'm gonna be on my Zoom. Class was actually really, really nice. Have you ever been in a class where you just feel like the lecturer is talking to you? I felt like he was actually talking to me, talking about how right now these are the times that you start to feel overwhelmed because there's so much that you need to do. And then he was just like, break down your big tasks into smaller tasks and then like once you complete those you get a little bit of dopamine obviously when you complete tasks because like you're happy about it and stuff and I was just like, I'm definitely feeling a little bit more motivated after going for this class, I'm not gonna lie. And that's what I like about going to class as well. It's time for me to study and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Trust phones, baby. Yeah.